you started off <clears throat> talking about uh, what the situation looked like in 1913, and they could not have imagined the war, World mm -hmm. War I, but they also couldn't have imagined the Bolshevik Revolution, and that mm -hmm. the whole first part of the 20th century would be class struggle. Mm -hmm. And this whole conversation, I'm struck. It's all creativity mixing with class struggle. And uh, one other data point to add to what Laura said, McKinsey Group, which is hardly a left-wing organization, <laughs> um, last year issued analysis saying that uh, 35 trillion of global wealth is outside of the taxation system, not being used to feed people mm -hmm. or available for public goods or to support the arts, but rather secreted away in tax havens. And it is 35 trillion controlled by 400,000 individuals. And how does, how does that inform your work? Can, can I just remind you, you sound pretty astute. You know, Tatlin and Milovich, those guys, they had this idea that there was that brief period after the revolution when the artists were actually leading before there was a crackdown. But they were, uh, an interesting thing uh, was that they had this idea of a kind of uh, progressive art that's going to be non this and non that. And what did the people want? Classical ballet. Mm -hmm. They wanted, you know, pretty pictures. Uh, so let's be, you know, let's be clear that the people, sometimes the best that you can do is to present people an image of something that is an escape. Mm -hmm. They will trust you. It's honest in a way. Because when you start preaching to them, and believe me, I know about preaching, right? <laughs> you know? But when you start preaching to them, they roll their eyes. Yeah. You know? So but I'm not talking about preaching. I saw you at Riverside Church with uh, Jesse Norman and Max Roach <laughs> when you leapt out from behind the altar screaming, Arnie Zane, yeah. over and over and mm -hmm. over. And Max Roach beat those drums like a machine gun. And then Jesse Norman hit that high note. Mm -hmm. And you wrapped yourself around her like a baby in her arms. And I saw that at that. I know, OK. Well, that's that. But no, ma'am. Wait. Cynicism aside, you know, that can be technique. Oh. <laughs> it, it can be. Now, you, oh, no. Do you, do you doubt it? There are people free and last. I can move this room. I can move this room. It can be technique. Now, that uh, night, technique. I think the spirit was there. But you're not talking about the spirit. Mm -hmm. It almost amounts to the same thing. If you've got the technique and you want to get them going, you can do that. Let's not, don't, 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 don't be easy. Yeah. And that's why some people, the harshest critics say, yeah, so he got a little upset, right? You got you to work harder, motherfucker, to move me. You got to move my mind now, as well as move my heart, right? Mm -hmm. So like I say, I had the infrastructure of a Southern Baptist. I know how to do that. I distrust it sometimes, mm. you know? I, I appreciate you reminding me, ma'am, but just be, remember, let's not be suckers. There's a demagogue born every moment, and some of them are slick, slick willies, you know? So let's not be suckers, yeah? Yeah? To answer your question another way, um, Elisa Solomon and I and, and a delegation went to Hungary earlier this year where we watched the art coming out of the theater world in resistance to the revival of fascism in Hungary. And it was in every theater piece that we saw. And the question of the Hungarians to us was, where is it in the US art and in the American art? And, yet the, and, and the art they were celebrating that came from the United States was Angels in America is what they put on the stage of their national theater. And it left us wondering, what is the art that is dealing with the class struggle of today? And all I can say is we have had 50 years, almost a century now, of philanthropic funding to ensure that that not happen. <laughs> that what not That that not happen. That a culture of class, theater, and art, and expression not catch hold in the United States. And a lot of it is caught hold anyway. I believe there's a lot out there perkling up. And maybe what we recognize as art, what we need to train ourselves, maybe not just to recognize art on the stage of a theater, but recognize art in the cooperative, the worker cooperative that somebody's making in Far Rockaway, 
to try to keep some wealth in their community. Mm -hmm. Maybe the worker cooperative that's being created on Pine Ridge by local indigenous entrepreneurs who want to keep wealth on their plantation, you know, on their reservation, <laughs> their plantation. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we need to look at creativity coming up in different ways and it's not all gonna be on the stage. Right. It may be in the workplace because that's the most urgent place right now. But that's my optimism talking again.